Olá a todos, bem-vindos a mais a uma das nossas conversas. Hoje vai ser interessante porque tenho comigo uma pessoa italiana e então vai ser o intercâmbio Portugal-Itália, uh, o que vai ser interessante, mas para vos dizer que tenho connosco o Daniel Lupidi, que é o vocalista da banda o Uronian, a banda de, que vem de Itália e que eu tenho o enorme prazer de receber hoje. E eu vou já adiantar o motivo pelo qual ele está aqui hoje, porque eles vão estar presentes no Metal Point no dia 22 um, e nós queremos muito ter a casa cheia. Eles estão numa turné ibérica e queremos muito que sejam bem acolhidos pelos portugueses, daí estarmos a recebê-los agora para vos dar a conhecer a banda que vai certamente dar um concerto memorável no Metal Point. Daniel, hello! Hello! Good oh, evening! Oh, oh, olá, como está aí? <laughs> Estou bem in Italia. Estou bem in Italia. <laughs> good. First of all, thank you for having or for accepting our invitation to be here today. I was okay. explaining to our audience that you are the singer of Oronian, uh, uh, an Italian uh, band, a metal band, that metal band, but we will go there further. And I, expl I was explaining that uh, you are here because two motives, because we like you. And the other one is because you are coming to Portugal next week uh, to have uh, a gig in Oporto uh, on the 22nd. And we will, we want uh, the, 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 the venue to be full with very, very nice people so you can enjoy your evening uh, in Metal Point. That is a great, great venue in, in Portugal and I think you will like it. But first of all, thank you for being here with us. You're welcome, of course. <laughs> Thanks for uh, inviting us. <laughs> uh, no, it's our pleasure. You formed the band during the pandemic, is that true? Yeah, basically we founded the band, uh, myself and Umberto, the, the guitar player. Um, I think it was, uh, yeah, the beginning of the pandemic, maybe one month uh, before the, the peak or mm -hmm. a couple of months before. Uh, we were talking about doing something together already for, for, uh, for months. Um, because he, he, Umberto um, plays with me in another band called The Hateful, uh, but he's a, a sort of a session member there. So mm -hmm. it's we do, we do not create music together. Okay. So it was like, uh, wow, why shouldn't uh, we, we should do something together, create something together, um, and write music together. Mm -hmm. And uh At a certain point, we were like, "Why don't we try to to do something that um, we really feel uh, it's we, we really feel like uh, something we always had in our hearts?" Uh, yeah. And in in particular, I I was uh, talking about uh, uh, the um, the melodic death black metal of the early '90s uh, because we we love that. Music, uh, we love the, those bands uh, like uh, Early at the Gates, uh, mm -hmm. Very Early, Dark Tranquility, um, Eucharist, uh, bands like that. But um, we never played anything like that before. And uh, unfortunately, also the original bands don't play something that we like now. So... Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's like uh, why don't we bring back the sound that we loved? Uh, we we don't hear it uh, uh, nowadays uh, around. Uh, so and it it, it, be was, cool. it it was easy for you when you joined Umberto, and then we when you began to create your own sound. It was easy. Yes, it was easy because um, we talked about it a little bit before uh, writing uh, the first uh, songs. Mm -hmm. And um, at a certain point, he came up with a couple of tracks uh, that are contained uh, in our 
first album. Mm -hmm. and we, I was totally convinced and I was like, wow, this stuff is great. Uh, I need to <laughs> put the, the lyrics uh, on them and uh, sing on, on top of the guitars to see if it works. Mm -hmm. And it worked immediately. And uh, I think that, you know, during the peak of the pandemic, no one was working. There was nothing else to do. We were like sharing files all the fucking day. <laughs> and uh, the process was so fast. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was incredibly easy compared to everything mm -hmm. I've done in the you past. You have done before. You yeah. are, uh, the band is you, Umberto, and you have another, another uh, musician, right? We have uh, uh, a drummer called Mar Marcello, who's uh, also the drummer of my other band, Eightful, in studio uh, and also in local live, live mm -hmm. shows. Uh, in Oporto, we will come with another drummer, um, the Valgren drummer um, Gianmarco Agosti, who will um, do a double uh, show with the, his other band, That Fucker. So it will, uh, it will, <laughs> we have <laughs> two bands and only one drummer on the, this tour. It's a joint, and, uh, a joint venture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it was easier this way. So less yeah, people sure. on the van and everything. <laughs> but um, the rest of the lineup is completed by two amazing musicians um, that aren't not uh, uh, on the record, but uh, um, joined after we released the CD. Mm -hmm. uh, Tommaso and um, Gianluca on guitar and bass. So it's a five-piece lineup. A five-piece lineup. Even you... if uh, in in the in studio, Umberto played all the guitars and the bass. The so the we were a three-piece uh, band uh, in studio, but now we mm. are a five-piece uh, band. A whole hand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that. You you spoke before about the other band you have. Um, it was it is easier for you as a singer uh, to sing. Uh, this kind of death metal, um, some old with some old influences. It's it's easier for you, or did you have any difficulty? You have to, I don't know, uh, get inspired by by any great singer of those times. Um, in Uranian is easier because I only sing. So uh, while in my other band, I, I, all, I also play the bass. So yeah. it's a double, time, double um, effort uh, and it's uh, harder. But in Oronian, I try to, to get inspired by, yeah, by the singer that we loved when we were younger. Uh, but of course, it never, it, the voice never turns out exactly like anyone else. So you can get inspired by someone, but your throat is different. And your also the way you write lyrics and create vocal patterns is different because also the music is it's different, different. So not exactly the same mm -hmm. type of uh, song structure and everything. Mm -hmm. Be so, being... Uh, be being sorry to interrupt but being the, yeah. just the singer only the singer in the band uh not playing or bass or guitar yeah uh, it it allows you to be more free on stage uh, um can you perform uh differently than if you were playing uh do you sure. like this more or what do you think about that I love both, uh, both uh, situations. Uh, um, when you, I, I, I notice that when you play an instrument and sing, your voice is more controlled. controlled At least yeah. for me, it works like that. So I never lose the voice. I can sing for one hour and uh, and half. While if I'm if I only sing, I push a little a lot more and. Uh, the risk is to lose the voice in the middle <laughs> of the track. And so it's it's obviously it's uh, it's easier. You can move a little bit more. You can do your own thing. You can you know also maybe um, be less uh, hyper concentrated on what you're doing. But of course uh, you need to you need to manage the voice. You of need course. to. Um, 
you can just drink and do stuff uh, no. without <laughs> <laughs> of course this this is easier as a band because we are a, a five piece band so um, two guitars uh, one bass uh, one drums everyone is doing its um, work its part uh, so um, there are no double uh, roles or mm-hmm, stuff like that mm-hmm. It's uh, some, somehow it's easier for everyone, but of course, being in five uh, five members on a stage, it's also a little bit more difficult somehow. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's almost a crowd. <laughs> yeah, it's crowded. Yeah, definitely, definitely. The the fans of your other band they were surprised with the sound of of Uranian. Uh, yeah, because um, what was the feedback? Were... What did they tell you? Uh, somehow were, were like, man, I, I, I didn't expect uh, something <laughs> like that from, from you guys. Yeah. And uh, the fans of this kind of music were like, oh, finally I can hear something, <laughs> something more yeah. black, uh, more black stuff, more deaf black and melodic deaf black stuff from you. Uh, other guys were like, uh, it's not exactly my style, but I, I support and uh, I appreciate uh, the, <laughs> the creation, uh, the, the, the music and everything because, uh, you know, we're, um, it's very well written and things like that. <laughs> In general, I think that uh, we have a, a slightly different audience, you know, mm-hmm. um, because uh, Eightful is more like uh, technical death metal, metal with brutal death metal somehow. Or progressive uh, death metal influences, technical stuff with a lot of things going on. Here it's more atmospheric, yeah. atmospherical, and um, it's darker. Uh, it's uh, it's different. It's somehow it's also more heavy metal oriented, oriented. more classic metal oriented. So, um, yeah. I but think it's, that it's, uh, it's very it's very nice to hear because it's it has I'm a girl okay so okay. I, I like I like um, death metal and I like the the part of the melody uh, I, I I'm enchanted by those melodies and I yeah. I felt that when I heard your 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 album I uh, I felt transported to somewhere somewhere else somewhere Ooh. yeah oh, yeah. Cool. yeah yeah, that's, that's very nice. Exactly what we wanted to to achieve. <laughs> exactly, you know, the, from the cover, the lyrics, the music, uh, yeah. everything. It was also like um, a sort of a metaphor of what we were living uh, during the pandemic. We just wanted to be led away by go away from the reality, and uh, um, we wanted to. Um, to be to travel far from from this world and uh, mm-hmm. you know the um, it was uh, like a therapy for us you know mm, doing yeah. something new during doing something that we haven't we never did before um, and I'm, I'm I'm glad that you <laughs> you were led away by the music yes. uh, by the music yes and when, uh, when I when I hear black metal I need to have that 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 uh, voyage I need to go yeah. <laughs> somewhere <laughs> yeah it's cool because the the the, the, atmos- the atmosphere is very important in our tracks uh, we also have a kind of percussive brutal part of our sound that. The drums, for example, could be the drums of a uh, death grind band. You know, they're fast, uh, a lot yeah. of a lot of power, a lot of punch. Uh, but the guitars and uh, the melodies are more ethereal. So it's a mix of uh, everything we like. Um, yeah, I'm married with a grinder, uh, so he, he likes yeah. the the parts of, and I like oh, the other okay. parts. So it's it's perfect. Oh, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Daniel, yeah, but... t- tell me one thing. The name of the album, I have to read it, a, uh, is As Cold as a Stranger Sunset. Explain to me this, this title. Uh was a mutual idea of uh, Umberto and myself. <laughs> he, he, um, I think he came up with something like As Cold As uh, and something else. I don't remember exactly. And I was like, okay, it's cool because 
the 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 overall atmosphere of the songs uh, always reminded us uh, cold colors like blue or yeah. violet uh, deep violet st- stuff like that for some reasons and uh, we um we came up with this uh, um suggestion and i was like wow the lyrics talk about uh, um you know sci-fi stories uh, things that uh, from other planets you know or things like that why don't we merge something like stranger sunset is is uh, could be a sunset on another world on a extra earth or something like that so uh you know it's just there is, there is no message behind it it's just uh, capture the atmosphere of mm-hmm. the record of the song of the music mm-hmm. more or less also the lyrics have the same um, yeah. the same um, the same uh, reason to exist you know it's not like i didn't want to to put some messages um, in the lyrics uh, some social or uh, uh, personal stuff in mm-hmm. the lyrics it was more like uh, um going together with the music uh, and creating a, a weird atmosphere and uh it's kind of a movie huh yeah yeah sure yeah. kind of a music sure. of a, yeah. of a movie we are listening and we create our, our own images yeah. and they are going exactly. by as we exactly. listen to the songs all exactly. the night yeah i don't know if, if you have a question about the lyrics uh, yeah otherwise. i do tell me okay, so I, I wait <laughs> <laughs> no 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 tell me tell me all about oh, them okay. you you okay. have you have nine nine songs um all the all the, the the album's nine songs um can you specify a little bit uh, some of the lyrics and how did you create them or, or how it was the the process of creating all the lyrics okay um uh, I think that I really wanted to to do something different from my other bands because I didn't want to steal ideas from uh, a band to another, you know. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I always have the the I, I'm a little bit paranoid when it comes to ideas, you know. <laughs> I, I, I always fear that I I wake up one day and I have no ideas anymore. Jesus, so that's to... scary. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I, I wanted to to draw inspiration from um, from uh, literature may, mainly this time because mm-hmm. I never did it before. So uh, some um, um, novelists like, for example, uh, Lovecraft, and uh, you know, of course, I know are, they are kind of abused in metal uh, scene, but you know, I just wanted to take some parts. Uh, and recreate uh, something uh, that was uh, mine mm-hmm, somehow. Mm-hmm. So, for example, the first track of the record after the intro, because it's eight track plus the intro, so it's eight real tracks. Yeah. Uh, Portal Studio Unspeakable is um, is definitely Lovecraft inspired, um, and um, I. I draw inspiration from a couple of uh, of stories from him and um, wanted to depict this 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 painter that i don't know the the, the title in english because i read the, the novel in italian the story <laughs> tell, in italian. Me, tell me in italian <laughs> uh, don't even remember the name uh strange uh, in italian uh, uh it's a painter mm-hmm it's a story about a painter that disappeared and basically the the narrator uh rem- remembers the moments when uh, he saw his paintings and uh, these paintings were so monstrous so full of um, terrible images brutal mm-hmm. images um that he suspected he, the painter had some uh, connection with something uh, supernatural some supernatural entities and uh, things like that mm-hmm. and i draw inspiration from that for example for these lyrics because the songs were was super chaotic it's probably the faster song of the record, of the record. Mm-hmm. and uh, so this uh, i wanted to to bring these chaotic visions uh, 
inside the the, the song structure. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I would like I, I'd say that uh, I don't want to be too uh, close to the original uh, script. I just want to like um, like a director of a movie, as you mm-hmm. mentioned before. You know, it's not uh, necessary that he uh, recreate the film exactly how the book was. Yeah. So I I adapted. I um, you know used my own uh, imagination. And uh, so it's we are not uh, like a thematic band like uh, Nile, for example, that always talks about Egypt or stuff like that. We just want to draw inspiration from a lot of different scenarios, even if most of them are literature inspired. For example, the song Ever Burning mm-hmm. is about um, Milton's uh, Lost Paradise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it basically it talks about uh, Satan, the way he depicted it. Mm-hmm. So the, the story of uh, the fact it was, uh, you know, it fell from heavens and became something else. And this uh, epic journey through hell, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, this, this was the longer track of, uh, longest track of the record. Good. And I needed something very epic and powerful to to recreate the atmosphere. So mm-hmm. I always choose the the, the lyrics and the, the topics uh, when I have the music. Uh, uh, the music is bef- is made before. Before, before, before. Uh, basically, Umberto sent me uh, the songs uh, that were already arranged musically mm-hmm. wise were already complete basically because uh, there was there were three two guitars the bass uh, mm-hmm. drums written on a computer so i should i could only um, sing on top of them and write the lyrics basically i Did also you- i also um, tried to help the song structures uh, giving suggestions changing parts yep. in order to making them uh, more effective with the lyrics on top of mm-hmm. that. Other topics, you know, um, the song um, uh, Hopeless Barricade mm-hmm. is based upon um, uh, Edgar Allan Poe's, uh, once again, in English, uh, in <laughs> Italian, is La, La Mascherata della Morte Rossa. Much prettier in Italian than in English. Uh, pro- it is possible, <laughs> but the original it was in English. So, uh, <laughs> it is the, yeah, it's the, like the Red Death mask, yeah. probably. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you if you know the the the, the novel, but you know the story. And uh, so it is. Uh, it's like that for do, for. Do, each- you, do you think when we hear the record, we should hear it from the first? from the intro until the end or you can hear it uh, differently no the, of course no. It's, it's track <laughs> as it's on uh, it's on uh, <laughs> it's on story you can uh, you can pick the track you want <laughs> <laughs> of course the, the record is pretty short so it's not a huge problem uh, no it's not from the beginning to the end i think it's less than uh, half an hour don't remember yeah. exactly but uh, we we what? like it we don't want to to make um we didn't want to make a long album mm-hmm. because um i think it's already very intense uh, we always liked uh, short tracks packed with a lot of things uh, mm-hmm. pretty different from uh, some black metal bands now yep. have very long tracks uh, we we are a little bit more death metal or grand core in this exactly uh, in this. <laughs> yeah i was i was thinking about that you were you mixed both you mixed both yeah. when, when umberto sent you this, the, the 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 songs did you close yourself in a dark room and write all the lyrics or it was a process during several days or weeks perhaps this time i 
yeah, I did like that. I basically wrote, um, of course, one one lyrics uh, at a time, um, but uh, in uh, in uh, one single hour or two. Yeah, I didn't start it and then left and then returned it. I, I just it was the the peak of the pandemic, so there was nothing else to do. <laughs> it was cool to start and finish the the work uh, in. Uh, in a couple of hours, for example. Mm-hmm. You were more focused, right? You were, yeah, you were totally focused. focused. Now it will be different for for sure because uh, with the new tracks, uh, it has been a little bit different. We already have a lot of stuff, but uh, we took more time. Uh, it was a little bit... Uh, there's, a sec- there's a second record on the way? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Mm. We don't want to wait too much because uh, we, we want to release mm-hmm. the material, we want to write stuff. Um, but I, I don't want to disclose too much details now <laughs> because we are still unsure about a few things. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is uh, There is a chance that it will be an EP with four mm-hmm. tracks, uh, okay. but we still uh, we still don't know exactly. You don't know exactly. Can you explain a little bit about the cover of the album? Yeah, uh, once again, it's more or less like the title. Um, mm. So I, I painted it uh, myself. Mm. Um, I tried to to create something that was uh, good for all the different scenarios depicted on the tracks, basically. And um, something that would have represented the, the atmosphere of the record. Once again, there are no messages, there are no hidden uh, things to discover. It's just what you see, it's like uh, sort of a vision on a extraterrestrial world, maybe, or or um, mm-hmm. desolate uh, zone on Earth. Uh, it seems like a frozen view of uh, yeah. <laughs> with uh, with with the, the the colors of the sky that are kind of weird. That is gray, and orange uh, colors that you don't find here <laughs> in our world. So, but we know. believe that they exist somewhere else. Yeah, pro- it is possible, of course. <laughs> Why not? We cannot be selfish no, sure. no, thinking no, that I, we are I, the only one. <laughs> we already saw a lot of images that are even weirder than, uh, <laughs> you know, from telescopes or um, <laughs> yeah, other devices that are kind of, you know, stranger than what I what I did on the cover. Definitely, <laughs> so, I, I, it's nothing uh, too weird. <laughs> This 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 show that you are coming to to play in Oporto, it's included in a in a Iberian tour. Yeah, it's a very small tour because it's two dates. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to do a little bit more, but um, it it wasn't possible. We we didn't um, succeeded in doing three or four finding three or four different places mm-hmm. but it will be the first date of this two dates mini tour and the second one is uh in madrid the wow. yeah the day be, the day after so yeah. we have um oporto or porto i don't know exactly how to... <laughs> for us it's porto for the English, it's all Porto. Uh, oh, cool. Uh, so it's it's Porto. Porto. And for Italians, it's Porto as Porto. well. <laughs> Porto. Yeah, not a Porto, but, you know, I, I saw Porto <laughs> everywhere. So it's like... Yeah, yeah. I thought it's, it was your your own uh, your own way to, to, to call it. It's easier. It's easier. Yeah, it's, it, it's your first time in Portugal? Not if... Um, I I was in, in, uh, in Lisbona. Lisbona? Lis- Born in Italian. <laughs> Portuguese is <laughs> Lisboa. Lisboa, okay. Lisboa. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was on vacations uh, many years ago. Super beautiful uh, city. You I will, hope that you is, will like uh, you. It's beautiful. Also, it's a different city, but it's also a very, very beautiful place. Mm. And people are very, very nice. And the food is very, very good. And the wine is very, very good. Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> I think you like it. What do you What do you expect from this from this concert from this night? 
don't really know what to expect. We hope. No. That <laughs> find it. I, I I saw that the the venue is a good, very good venue. Yes, very, it is. We received the, the infos uh, of um, the stage and everything. It's a very cool place. Yeah. I saw that the guys from Gruesome Record, Nuno and Alvaro, are doing a great job promoting the event. Uh, we are doing our own from home, but uh, we don't have uh, so <laughs> many contacts uh, in that area. So we are doing what we can. <laughs> I'm inviting you, people in groups. And you, you, have, like you have to rent a van so you can bring all the Italians. <laughs> <laughs> we already rent a van, but for us. So for you. <laughs> we rent a, a big, big, big van for uh, the rest of the <laughs> And, and talking, uh, talking about about us us as an audience, what can we expect from you and all the guys? We we want to to play as uh, ma as much uh, closer to the record as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, we will have a different drummer compared mm -hmm. to the record, but it's another awesome drummer. So. Uh, I, we only choose the best for the band, <laughs> so that the <laughs> drummer is very good uh, as well. So he can recreate the the songs uh, oh. perfectly. Um, no, not uh, nothing too cinematographic, you know, just mm -hmm. pure attack and pure, um, <laughs> you know, impact. Uh, we hope to to carry our songwriting. To those who don't, uh, to bring our music to those who don't know us, mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. to those who didn't hear any note, and hope to to be to to be understood somehow. Mm -hmm. you know? And we will um, we we have practiced a lot for the tour, so I think we are prepared, and uh, we will mm -hmm. do our best. On the on the set list be, beside the, the 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 record, will we have the chance to hear new stuff? Not unfortunately, <laughs> not because uh, the new stuff is um, secret. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's complete, but not recorded yet. And also, uh, a couple of guys didn't uh, learn their part yet. <laughs> because, <laughs> Yeah, because of course, uh, um, Umberto and myself created uh, the music and the lyrics. The drummer um, already worked on the drum parts. So we have to show the rest of the guys the, the material. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to to prepare the, the as, as, as called as a Stranger Sunset songs mm -hmm. uh, as best as we could. Uh, so um, working on stuff that isn't recorded yet could have been a distraction, you know. Mm -hmm. Also because it's the first time for us outside of yeah. Italy, and uh, we 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 want to to do to play good. So only songs we are experienced on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have but a so cover as well, a cover uh, song as well. Really? Yeah, but I of course I cannot say <laughs> what. It is. No, no, it's a surprise. So, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> no, or we can make a quiz uh, and ask to all the fans, what do you think is the cover? <laughs> yeah, cool, cool. <laughs> Let's yeah, see if they will, answer. <laughs> we will wait uh, the answer. Yes. <laughs> Concerning this first album, you did record it in Italy, right? You went to yes. a studio because it was made in pandemic, but how did you the process go? Uh, okay, the drums and the vocals were recorded in a proper studio mm -hmm. here in my own town. Uh, so we recorded the drums. Uh, um, then we sent uh, the drums to Umberto, who recorded all the guitars and bass and keyboards at home in his own studio. Um, then I recorded the vocals uh, in the, the studio where we recorded the drums. No, not at home, because uh, voice recorded in home, the neighbors. No, mm -mm -mm. no of, of course, of course. Uh, if uh, no, that medal is not uh, for uh, to, doesn't have to be practiced at home. You know? no, also, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so yeah, we recorded uh, the vocals in the studio, mm -hmm. sent it, sent them back to, to Umberto, and uh, he mixed the whole thing. 
and then we sent uh, it to Damien Herring uh, in the US, to Damien Herring of Forendus to master the, the album. Mm -hmm. well, the process I, was quite a ping pong. Uh, ping pong, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you happy with the, the result? Yeah, definitely. We have been criticized by someone, some guys, uh, other guys about, about the sound. They expected something more clear, mm -hmm. something lighter, something uh, more, uh, you know, audible. Other guys were like, this is the perfect mix. <laughs> this is good. We, we wanted to add some, uh, you know, old school fashion to the sound. We didn't want to be too um, crystal clear, you know. Uh, I, I always loved band like this member, for example, who had melodic parts, but immersed in mm -hmm. a very, you know, noisy sound, you know, uh, chaotic and noisy sound, because I think it's also, uh, it is cool to have, uh, to not uh, discover everything you have uh, at first listening, you know? The listener have to, to listen it twice or thrice before, you know, understanding the whole thing yeah to di the different layers you have to listen yeah, and listen yeah again. yeah so not to to clear not to clean like uh melodic bands most of the melodic bands do now when you first time you listen the stuff you can hear everything but yeah it doesn't last long in my opinion i prefer the 90s sound where everything was muddier but you can hear the melody and we're like wow <laughs> i have to play it again you know, but of course we are totally satisfied. We'll see with the next record. We don't want to be to go too far away from this. Mm -hmm. Of course, we we gained experience with this record, so it will probably be better. Don't know exactly how it will be, of course, but uh, <laughs> it no, it was it, it was uh, mm, premeditated doing something. That, uh, dirtier than usual you know mm -hmm. the sound the sound that had to be powerful and oh. heavy and but also dirty not too clear <laughs> are you bringing some uh, merchandising yeah of course we don't have uh thousands t-shirts but uh, <laughs> we have our our logo t-shirt plus uh, the cd the tapes uh, that fucker guys also have CD tapes, uh, T-shirt, and everything. So there will be a lot of stuff to to support the band with, if you want, of if the guy wants. So everything is ready. You just need to come. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, finger crossed, because yeah. uh, it's a, it's a strange uh, the world moment. we live. Yeah, and, yeah. It's uh, a very so strange thing can happen, but <laughs> we are ready. Daniel, thank you for being here. Hope you have a nice trip. Um, sure. Smooth, very smooth. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, it will be. And a great night in Porto. And we'll be waiting for your next record. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope to see you on, in, in Porto. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for uh, inviting us.